Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the t PX9 Gen 3 Night Stalker Tactical in all great. I shot this at range day. I was very much impressed when I was going through the PX9 line. I said, which one is that? They said, that is the Night Stalker Tactical. And I think it looks super cool. And I, I've taken a few shots. I have a Gideon Omega on here, sighted that in, and I am very much impressed with the Night Stalker Tactical. It's got a great trigger, right at four pounds. It has a trigger tab in there, safety with a short reset right there. The slide cuts look super cool. And it has a tritium front dot, 5.1 inch threaded barrel, taller sights, it has additional grip panels and back straps, a whole bunch to fit like 30 different hand sizes. Overall, nice feeling handgun. Now the optic I have here is a Gideon Omega and I like this, it's a green dot, it has shake awake, uh, top loading battery compartment and a very wide lens. Impressive package together. Now the MSRP on this is 460. And the Gideon Omega, I don't know what the MSRP on this is, but it's a budget red dot, green dot, whatever. They have a whole line. It comes with this 20 round mag and an 18 round mag. So together, I, I've been impressed. You know, the tritium front dot, quite a bit. Let's take a few shots, see how it does. This slide action is super smooth as well. Yeah, it's nice. It feels just like it did when I shot it at tri Trigger Con. Loved it. The disassemble, super easy. The overall look is cool. Let's load it up and fire it some more. Here we have the 18 round mag. I have 18 loaded up. It also has a cocked striker fire indicator on the back of the slide. Love that trigger pull. Very short reset. Let's go ahead and take a few shots. Check it out from this angle. Wow, what a nice handgun. Now the TSIS PX9 models are budget priced, right in the mid 300s. They have evolved from the Zagana, PX9 Zagana. But if you look at everything this offers for 460, I think it's a fair price. The grip texturing is kind of smooth, all right? If you like grip tape, this wouldn't be a bad gun to put it on. If you want a little additional texturing, it has an indentation right there for that middle finger there. It feels good, I like that. I like the little indentation there. But here we have a full-size gun with a 5.1 inch threaded barrel. Night Stalker Tactical. I think the slide cuts look cool all throughout. Has a four slot pick rail. The direct mount is an RMR cut with the Gideon Omega. And the, the install was so easy. So if you like red dots or green dots in this case, it's a very easy mount with an RMR footprint. Now, the serrated black rear sights and the tritium front dot certainly helps with the sighting process. Little bit adjustments, not too bad. The threaded barrel is nice. I've mentioned before, I've got a can coming in. Looking forward to that. And I'm, I'm into threaded barrels now, specifically because of that. But this is really performing well at the range. I think we need a lip wrist test. Buh, 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 buh. <laughs> Sh 
Joe Biden. Joe Biden shooting. <laughs> uh oh. What we got going on here? Should be fine. This is how I was trained. Whoa, the Night Stalker had one little chamber issue. The round was in there. I don't think the slide went into battery. Other than that, the Night Stalker passed with an A minus. TSAS PX9 Gen 3 Night Stalker Tactical. Happy to have it. I, I like the gun. I, I think the 20 round mags are great. 18, not bad either. Direct mount, Gideon Omega. Green dot, 5.1 inch barrel. I like the slide cuts and I love that trigger pull. With a very short reset. Has all the makings of a top notch gun without a top notch price. Shoots great, looks cool. What more do you really want? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.